what is up guys i've been grinding the call of duty modern warfare beta for a while now and this is the real best gun in the game i don't care what you guys tell me this is the best gun the most versatile gun and the most dominant gun in the beta in modern warfare that could be changing soon uh maybe when the game actually releases it could get nerfed but if you're playing the beta you're wondering what's the best gun to use maybe what are the best attachments for the gun etc perks whatever it is i got it all right here so we're gonna hop aboard with the mp5 mp5 is in my opinion the best gun and on top of it, the best sub at the moment in the beta we got the muzzle break muzzle break recoil control really good obviously you lose some game um aiming gun steadiness and some aimed outside speed but the pro i think of having less recoil and able and being able to shoot a lot straighter with it is more beneficial than those two little slowly reduced things um no barrel even though the lightweight barrel is basically a quick draw over a bullet velocity i would rather have it I, I assume um travel faster um so the quick draw it could be effective but in my opinion i don't i don't like it laser not really needed uh red dot is pretty nice on it the mini reflex is pretty nice on it you can definitely use it maybe substitute something but the the iron sight is good enough and if you do put a red dot then you're hindering the gun a, a bit because you remove one of the other better things right so we got stock um stock just like in any call of duty very good on subs you have a pretty fast strafe speed you get to you know strafe somebody out the movement basically strafe them make them miss some bullets make it more difficult for them to shoot you and on top of that it can help you kind of get your shot on them while you're strafing and using both sticks so gotta have the stock pistol grip aim down sight speed faster sprint to fire speed faster this is 100 percent a need a must need super good on the mp5 idle sway control who cares you maybe lose some you maybe gain some idle doesn't really matter some swing is not going to kill you over what it gives you 10 m ammunition you lose a little bit of fire rate aiming recoil control i guess there's more a little bit slightly a little bit more recoil but you get some more damage and you know i think that is super super good just ignore everything just the damage part yes you lose some fire rate but you get more damage and that just means the gun's going to kill a little bit faster it's basically a sort of like a stopping power extended max is very good for like public matches when you're trying to go for a lot of kills and like get a couple like two piece three pieces four pieces yes for having 45 i think it's 45 or 40 bullets oh it says 45 so i'm assuming it's 45 but having 45 bullets in your ammunition yes is really good but obviously like you lose what aim downside speed so you, you slowly zoom in and then you lose you you you're slower you lose movement speed and i like i don't know about you guys but when I have a submachine gun, I like to get aggressive. I like to get into people's faces. And I like, I do not want to feel like I'm slowed down or a little bit slower. So 10 mm, it's a must. Do not use extended mags. And of course, we got the vertical foregrip. Horizontal. So this is horizontal recoil control. This is vertical recoil control. In my opinion, most guns have more vertical than horizontal. Logically, it makes more sense. Obviously, you do lose a little movement speed, which is at least if one thing is making you lose the movement speed it's fine the submachine gun still has very fast movement speed and mobility but i would 100 percent put vertical recoil control obviously this might different be different for depending on the gun but for the most part and i want to say majority of the guns you want vertical foregrip and i'm assuming that is another reason why it's the second thing unlocked which it's a higher level to unlock because it's more beneficial and more important so definitely put the foregrip so these are the five attachments i use on the gun um I think these are the best five you can put on the only thing you like you like can maybe be, like help you sometimes is the lightweight barrel where you it's basically a quick draw but if is if you play mw correctly with like aiming in and pre-aiming and playing it more of like a boots game and not just think you're gonna come off spray and kill everybody then because then if you're thinking like that then you're doing it all wrong this game actually requires you to pre-aim actually requires you to position yourself well and take your time in certain situations so you shouldn't really need um this extra aim down sight speed and i don't even think this is off sprint this is just like aiming in while you're just walking or just slowly moving so i think these are the best five attachments now for my secondary i do got the deagle um deagle is better than the m19 100 000 percent in the beta right now deagle i got five attachments to it these attachments actually make it very good i'm not gonna go too in depth you can obviously use kind of whatever you want it's more so about the mp5 and the perks i'm running you got the muzzle brake the laser the nice little optic rear grip and trigger action uh, recoil control super good on that and then fire rate lightweight trigger i guess it slowly it kind of slightly increases the fire rate which is awesome uh this makes the deagle definitely even better than what it is already getting those nice one taps are awesome now the perks are like the very imp next important part double time i think is super good doubles the duration of tactical sprint if you double click you're basically able to sprint super fast it's like a super sprint and 
having it the double the time is super good because that sprint is very good not only to get to places faster but hitting movements where you sprint off sprint jump around the corner super sprint again so i really like this the only other perk you can use maybe in the beta is the eod which is basically flag jacket um i just really like how this makes me feel and how like fast i'm able to move around the map and hit like nice movement so i'm just running the double time right now in the beta eod uh basically flag jacket definitely could be used if you want it's up to the person really but i would really go with double time next we got ghost ghost you can't be ghost in any public matches beta or not beta just not being detected by uavs and all that crap that really just sucks and it's like hacks for the other team you want ghost a hundred thousand four hundred million percent so make sure you put ghost and then i got battle hardened which is basically attack mask uh reduces fa attacks flashes stuns i guess there's only two being run right now so attacks and attacks and uh flashes or stuns and flashes so this is really good especially in the beta with everyone throwing stuns and flashes at you constantly uh reduces it by a lot i want to say about like 80 75 percent 80 percent uh duration time like you get you're basically stunned or flashed for like a second and then you're basically out of it like one second 1.5 maybe so these are the three best perks i'll be using especially when running this class um next i got the semtex um semtex of frag is optional whatever you want to run uh, i've been doing both but semtex i feel like allows me to be a little bit more faster in my feet because you don't have to stop to cook a frag but frags do kind of allow you to uh, I guess get those more get some easier kills because you cook it a little bit longer so they're not able to run away from it then i got a flash grenade sun's grenades and flashes are both really good um you can unlock stim in a beta stim it's it's definitely good but it's not as good as it was in black ops 4. i feel like stuns and flashes are just so so like effective that you might as well just run one and instead of a stim shot and I, on top of it you they're self heal right like in black ops 4 stim was you had to use it to heal um pretty much i mean well stim was like an, a super heal but regardless um flash and stun grenades so uh the reason i use flash most of the time is because it's more of a radius blast and it doesn't necessarily have to land on the floor uh for it to pop you can sort of throw it high in the air it's going to detonate uh eventually i guess at like i don't know whenever you you the more you play the more you realize it maybe like two seconds into the air it'll it'll just it'll pop up so you wouldn't have to necessarily like throw it and then bounce it off to the floor. You can easily like kind of throw it high up in the air where there's going to be someone like in a head glitch or something and it's going to pop and it's going to hit them without even touching the floor. So that's really cool about flash grenades. And then I feel like sometimes flash grenades are so so good. Like you, you can't see for like three, four, like three, four seconds. It's super good. So this is the class I'm running. This is the best gun in my opinion, 100% in the beta. The only other gun you can say it's like close is the m4 the m4 definitely can compete with it but right now i think the mp5 is the, the best better the best gun the best real gun i don't care what anyone says about the m4 the mp7 the aug mp5 best gun most versatile dominant gun you can still kill people with range you can so easily like hit like instant melt people because of the damage and obviously like some people say well what about the mp7 the mp7 definitely is good i think the only thing that mp7 has the mp5 beat in is you're able to kind of map people at a, long, at a longer distance a little bit easier so but in my opinion mp5 definitely best gun so of course guys this is the beta um there's going to be another beta coming up this next week um this is going to probably change once the real game comes out we're going to see some probably some huge changes mp5 might not end up being the the best gun anymore so but i just wanted to give you guys some tips and some advice for a lot of you guys heading into the beta or guys who are planning to, pay to play the beta again and wondering what were the attachments I, I was using or whether or wondering you know what is the best class best perks etc and you know just rock this and trust me once you get a little hang of it you're going to be dominating